Actually, I decided to uh, shut this music off for just a little bit because because I really what I try to do, especially in a certain real world aspect. I try to shut out the real world problems from my stream because most of the times I don't like talking about it because it'll just aggravate my migraines and it'll get my mental health a bit worse. But unfortunately, this can't be held back. If you saw the news on Friday, the United States Supreme Court has just done something that is no doubt unconstitutional. They have overturned Roe versus Wade. And that means that abortion is now outlawed. That means women who need abortions in order to save lives 
from something that is catastrophic can no longer get the help that they need, at least in 26 states. Because those 26 states are going to be trigger laws that if it hasn't already taken place on Friday, it, they definitely will tomorrow. They definitely will start in tomorrow, possibly. And the reason this has been a this has been so difficult on this subject because it's a very sensitive matter. And it, this is infringing as us as women, whether we're straight or in the LGBT AIQ plus community, as women of color, as women who are who have poverty, low income, this is affecting us. This is going to affect everyone, and this seriously violates our reproductive rights as human beings. And it's not just us women in general, it's also men. Of course, their rights are being violated. And what makes it so sad now is that rape or incest, if a woman or even a child, I want you to listen up here. If even a child gets incest or raped, she is going to be forced to carry that baby the full term. If that happens, and let me you rape and incest, they're still against the law. It's still sexual assault. By any means necessary, those suspects should be punished for that. But now, if you're pregnant due to rape or incest, and if you try to get an abortion to avoid that problem, it is the victim, that victim in those 26 states, they could be put in prison for that. And as for those doctors, as for those doctors who are trained to make sure that they save their lives, they're being threatened. They're being harassed by the other side. Let's understand here. This was a 6-3 decision by six justices of the United States Supreme Court had no business being in that court in the first place has taken away the very rights, the very constitutional rights that was fought for since 1973. I am telling you right now, the next generation of children and women and men are going to be affected by this unless we fight back. Remember, there are 26 states that will enable trigger laws possibly starting tomorrow. If not, if they haven't already on Friday, 
this past Friday, there are other states that do do have abortion, but unfortunately, it would be restricted to getting contraceptives. There are other states who still supports it. My state here in Illinois, we still support it. And I'm sure my governor, and I'm sure governors in the other blue states are going through ev anything and everything possible to make sure that abortion stays legal in those states. In fact, the governor of Connecticut has already took to action to make sure that abortion stays legal and for those women to make sure that they get the help that they need. I usually never, ever talk about politics or politicians on stream, ever. That has been my goal since day number one on not doing that because it's important that I make sure that I keep my community safe and fun. But this subject cannot be ignored. This really can't. Those six judges at the Supreme Court has no business being on the bench, period. They were pushed in. They were forced in by a former president who still to this very day is spreading the big lie saying that the election has been stolen, there has been election fraud, and everything else. This, pres this former president has become a lunatic even the Supreme Court themselves say it, that there was no election fraud. There wasn't. And to have this constitutional right be stripped because of what happened last month, because of a leaked document, We knew it was coming, but it was just a matter of time of when it was coming. And right now, folks, I feel so horrible for those young women and children of those 26 states that are not going to be able to get the care that they need especially down in the South. Mississippi has only one abortion clinic. They're thinking about moving out of the state. Let me make this perfectly clear, ladies and gentlemen, and in between pals. Let me make this perfectly clear. This isn't over. This isn't over by a long shot. This is not over. And we are not going to be silenced. We're not going to be silenced on Tuesday, and we sure as hell not going to be silenced come November. I'll tell you something, that the abortion rights, the, the Constitution rights of Roe 
stripped away by a noisy minority group. A noisy minority that wanted to make sure that abortion was outlawed since. They may have won the battle, folks, but they surely as hell won't win this war come November. Our voices needs to be heard loud and clear once and for all that we are going to make sure that abortion stays legal because this is going to be catastrophic on every human being that doesn't have the medical care and support that needs help in the worst way possible. And let me tell you something, if a woman or even a child dies of an of a miscarriage and they need an abortion in the worst way possible and they can't get that care that is vital to them, that is necessary to make sure that their lives are saved. There is going to be blood on the hands of the Republican Party and the corporate Democrats and those six justices, those people will be held responsible each and every single day that either a woman or a child dies from a miscarriage. Their, their blood, these people, their victims' bloods, the blood on the victims will be on the hands of the Republican Party and corporate Democrats, as well as those damn six justices having no business changing well whatsoever. You people are going to be held responsible for this. You think you won? You haven't. You haven't. You won't win this battle. You will not win this war. I guarantee you, man, I will personally guarantee it that I am an ally for those who are pro-choice. Let's understand that here. You people in the Republican Party, you, the six judges in the Supreme Court, and the corporate Democrats will all be held responsible. Come November, there will be a change. Our voices are stronger than ever. And you will not silence every single one of them. Not one. We are the majority. We are the people who votes, who gets into office in the federal and state level. You don't get to decide who we need to vote for. You got a problem, you can get the hell out of this country. But you won't last long, I guarantee that. I will personally guarantee it. And I'm not going to tell my own community to go after these people. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. We can 
protest peacefully. We can demonstrate on how we are for abortion. I can assure you that each and every city and small town are going to be doing everything in their power to make sure that Roe is codified into law. You haven't heard the last of us. You have not heard the last of this. Let's understand here, folks. Our reproductive lives are as important to every man, woman, and child as ever. And it's not just us who are heterosexual. It's also for same-sex marriages, and especially those who are in the LGBTAIQ plus community that's also going to be attacked. We need to make sure that come November, in the polls, on those ballots, we need to make sure that abortion stays on the ballot. That abortion stays and return as a constitutional right to make sure that Roe is codified to law. This is unheard of that a court would overturn a constitutional right. You would have to have corrupt power in order to change the Constitution. And unfortunately, that's what happened. There is corrupt power that changed the Constitution. And this is not the first country that happened. This is not the first country that happened. I cannot believe what I have just saw and heard. This is ludicrous. This is outrageous. This is clearly an outrage an attack on women is from day number one. This is a real attack. I can't believe this. I am so angry right now about this, about what happened on Friday. June 24th, 2022, that marked the day that Roe versus Wade had ended. Excuse me for a minute. Folks, I'm going to tell you right now, this isn't over by a long shot. This isn't. And it's not going to be. It's time to make our voices heard loud and clear. We are going to rally just like we have to rally on Wednesday against chronic migraine. We need to rally like now. We need to rally like we never rallied and protested before. For those who have yet for those voices who stayed silent, it's 
stay silent no more. We are not going to say, stay silent any longer. It's not worth it. It is time that we, as a whole, we, the people of the United States, make absolutely certain come Tuesday and come November. We are going to make sure that a change is made for the better of this country. We need to make sure that a change is better because we are vulnerable right now and we are not going to be vulnerable. I'll be damned if the next generation of women and children have to go through a day in hell or months in hell without any chance of getting an abortion to save their lives from rape and incest. And they going to be the ones that go to jail because they have to get an abortion? They have to talk between a doctor and a patient, which has always been confidential? Politicians have absolutely no business interfering between doctor and patient confidentiality. None whatsoever. It is doctor patient confidentiality about health care, about the patient's health. It doesn't matter if it's abortion, if it's the heart. If it's neurological, it doesn't matter if you get your knee replacement or a hip replacement. It doesn't matter if you are even getting heart surgery. That's doctor patient confidentiality. Always. Of course, reproductive health is always patient-doctor confidentiality. Can you? Oh, I shouldn't say what can we do. We are going to do something in November. We have to do something. We need to do something. This is absolutely insane. That a constitutional right has been gutted. Just because a former president and six justices, and the Republican Party still believes the big lie. Unbelievable. This is insane. This is absolutely turns my stomach each and every time. I can't believe this. I just can not believe this. I, I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. 
I'm seriously at a lost words here. This is absolutely crazy. But you know what? We can channel that power. And we can stand with those who need care the most. My state is welcome with open arms. I'm sure there are other blue states that will be welcoming those with open arms as well. This war isn't over by a long shot, ladies and gentlemen, and in between wars. This is not over, and we need to make sure that we, the majority, are more louder and more stronger and more effective than the noisy minority that wanted abortion overturned. We are going to make sure that even those voices who are silent needs to be in at the forefront. We are not going to be silenced by threats of violence, harassment, <coughs> excuse me, anything at the other side that will make us and will avoid any chance of voting in November. Let me tell you something right now, folks. Abortion is on the ballot for November to have a record number of voters as high as ever. This is a crucial moment. Again, our biological reproductive rights are at stake. We are not going to let the Supreme Court take them away on a permanent basis because they are wrong. They are wrong. And they will have their blood. They will have blood on the victims, on their hands, if the next generation dies of miscarriages, rape, incest. No way is this over by a long shot. No way. haven't won, and you never will. Oh my goodness. I have, oh goodness, that's about at least my thoughts on what happened on Friday with the abortion being gutted. But that's why I wanted to get it off my chest. I still cannot believe it. I still won't believe it. I don't want to believe that. I don't. I really, really don't. Oh, God. This is unbelievable. This is just absolutely unbelievable. Uh, 
we have to rally. That's all I can tell you. We need to rally like hell. Put posters on your windows. Put yard signs outside your houses. Let your voices be heard, folks. Come Tuesday. Come November. It is us, the majority, against them, the minority, the noisy minority. This is unbelievable. I still cannot believe that Roe has been gutted. I still can't believe this. It should have been codified into law since day one. I am sorry, folks. I'm sure you can disagree with me, but I will not allow you to attack me or attack my views on how I feel right now. I will not be silenced. I will not let the new generation of voices be silent. I am going to be an ally for those who are going to need our help at most. Oh, God, I've got to... Still cannot believe this. I still can't. And I still won't accept it. I just won't accept it. I can't accept it. But that's that's all I had to say right now. Thanks for joining me today. I'm sorry, this stream's a little bit short than 